Wow. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, ticket symbol PSTH. This is a uh, Passion Square. This is a park that's owned by uh, Bill Eggman, billionaire investor Bill Eggman. Uh, I, you guys remember here on the channel, I did a video when this uh, spark went public and I told you guys that I love Bill. I mean, he's a smart investor, has made a ton of money investing. So um, his spark is something that I would be interested in. So I picked up um, a few shares back then. I think it came out at about $21. So I picked up a few shares and has since then been holding those shares um, and uh, nothing has happened. So uh, everybody's just been waiting to see when he was going to uh, get something going as far as a deal or a company. So now it looks like there's something that we can finally uh, start to wrap our head around. So that's what we're going to talk uh, about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, guys, uh, Bill Eggman, billionaire investor Bill Eggman with uh, Passion Square uh, Spark um, looks like they are nearing a deal. Um, that would uh, with uh, Universal Music, which is to me, it's crazy. I didn't anticipate that he was going to go this route. I, I mean, I was looking more so something in like the tech space or maybe pharmaceutical or financial or even that kind of like fintech. So um, the fact that he's going this route to me, it's a little bit shocking. Um, but as you can see here, Bill Eggman's Passion Square News record $40 billion pack deal with Universal Music. So again, this is crazy. This is crazy because um, everybody has been waiting to uh, see or just um, hear what Bill Eggman was working on as far as uh, which company they plan on taking public. Um, remember, this park actually um, started last year, 2020, and it's just been a grind. Um, so even as of uh, May 12th uh, of this year, Bill Eggman was asked at the Wall Street Journal Future of uh, Everything Festival, and they asked him about the future of the spark. And he said um, they had been working with uh, working on a deal since November with an iconic company. So now if we put the you know that statement iconic company and universal music which we all know that it's iconic this might come out to be true so again like some of the biggest names in music are, are currently signed with uh, universal music so again this is the website if you go there you, you take a look you see that a lot of the big names uh in music are all here so if you can look at this again this is part of the news uh from Yahoo um, really breaking it down. So, uh, so what happened to the stock? It looks like the market didn't really respond to this in a positive way, which is kind of shocking because uh, throughout the day, the stock just stayed flat um, at about 24 and some change. And then after hours, it popped up to about 25.71. And then when the news came out, because this news came out today at about um, around 5 p.m. my time, and then look at how the market reacted to it. It flushes down to 21. So I wasn't even on my computer then because um, that flush down would have been a good spot to even add a little bit more to my position because um, again, uh, when you get up tomorrow, um, Friday and over the weekend and then Monday, you're gonna see some momentum and the stock, people are gonna start talking about it and you might see a spike up back to that 25, even not push all the way to even test 30. Um, so. This is kind of crazy, guys. Um, I didn't really anticipate that they were going to go this route of uh, picking, um, you know, Universal Music. But it looks like that's what um, they, they're going to do here. Again, the deal is looking um, to get about, uh, you know, like a $40 billion potential deal with Universal Music. This is insane. Um, so again, we can see that would be uh, the biggest spark deal on record. This spark came out of the gate hot. Most sparks come out at ten dollars. His spark came out at twenty one. Just to give you guys some context, so uh, we'll see how um, everything turns out. Um, again, if you're not in the stock, if there's a dip, you should definitely look to buy the dip because this stock has just again. Um, let's just go back here last month. You can see in May, look at that, that dipped down to 22. 
and then kind of says squeezing back up to where uh, we currently almost at that 24, 25 price point, which is where the stock had been. So if we go back six months, you can see here the high had been $32. Again, this is a spark. And at that point, um, this is February, they didn't have any information as to um, if there's a deal or, or you know, they were going to take anybody public just yet. It was just the fact that Bill Eggman's name was on this, and that's what kind of gave it that drive um, all the way to that $32 before pulling back. But again, uh, breaking news. I wanted to give this to you guys so that uh, you can make some smart decisions. So the, I guess the question you're asking right now is, is this a good company to invest in? Um, to me, uh, I look at Bill Eggman as a smart investor. He's made a ton of money on, on Wall Street. So if he's going with Universal Music, I think he has seen or his team has seen something there that um, really has huge potential. So I'm definitely, um, again, going to add to my position if I see even another dip in this thing. Um, right now, the, the dip here, I missed this 21 um, a dollar dip after the news came out because right here they've been sweet to pick it up at that 21 again. Look at that, just from there, squeeze back up to 23. So, even if you were swing trading this, it would have been a sweet swing trade to buy this dip here and hold it, uh, potentially hit 25, 26. That would be about a four or five dollar spread, which is good money. So, uh, again, I'm gonna look for some dips here and add and my average here is about 21 and some change. I'm going to look for some dips and add and just, you know, try to hold um, not a massive position, but a, not a good size position that I, I'm comfortable with. So that that's my take here. For a swing trade, I'm definitely going to swing trade this one. And for my swing trade, I'm going big. I'm going to load up. If this thing opens up on Friday and pull back, then I'm going to load up and, and see. Um, hopefully, the news is going to spread over the weekend and then come back Monday, we'll see a spike up to maybe 26, 27, which I can sell my swing and take profit and walk away. So that's my strategy. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, again, have a deal going on right now. The deal has not been finalized yet, and neither one of these guys have actually confirmed it. But um, according to Yahoo here, if we can look there, People close to, um, you know, this particular deal, um, again, they're not going to put their names out there, um, exciting that this is this is really happening. So um, see, and just uh, take this with a grain of salt until we see the news come out. Um, again, we've seen other cases where, like Churchy Capital, when they were looking to go go take um, our Lucid Motor Public, it was the same thing. Nobody would come out and confirm it and put their name on it because behind the scenes, they're still working and stuff. So I think this is, if the news is out there, it's been reported by, by um, CNBC and Yahoo, I think this is a, this is a deal. So um, I'm gonna definitely look at a pre-market or whatever to pick up some shares here and just swing it. Um, hopefully if there's a dip, then I would add to my long-term position. So that's my game plan. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.